What are the big challenges the paper points out? Well, they highlight three key things. First, as you mentioned, whether you analyze returns over time, like time series, or compare different stocks at one point in time cross-sectional analysis. You often end up with different factors looking important. Hmm. Like the example they give. Yeah, the market factor. You know, overall market performance, it often looks like a huge driver in time series. Seems obvious. But then when you look cross-sectionally, like which specific stocks are doing better right now? It's less clear. It often fails those tests or seems less significant. Huh. That does feel a bit counterintuitive, doesn't it? It does. The second issue is how much results depend on portfolio formation. How you group the stocks for testing. Exactly. The paper notes that factors like size small caps versus large caps or value cheap versus expensive stocks. The famous ones. Right. They might look really strong if you specifically sort stocks by size and value. Makes sense. But if you grouped stocks differently, say by industry. Those same factors might not pop out. They might not seem nearly as significant. It raises the question, is the test creating the result? So the way we organize the data could be like artificially boosting some factors. That's the concern. And the third big point, maybe the biggest, the sheer number of factors proposed, hundreds. When you test that many ideas. Some are bound to look good just by chance. Precisely. The lucky factor problem. You find statistical significance just randomly. 